hello guys so i've just gotten home actually and uh i'm about to head inside but i tried to put my seat lower down so i don't sit this low in the car hello the steering wheel is not right here okay but uh it is for right now because i feel like this angle looks better but any who who i just got home so i'm about to head inside and i am starting this vlog on a random chaotic note because that's who i am but i've decided that this vlog is just gonna be what it is i don't know what that means right now but it means something somewhere so i'm currently reading oh lord savage lands here right here this is a dystopian romance fantasy romance and it's got fae involved and the humans are fighting the fae that's what i know so that's what i'm reading right now it is very stereotypically written it's not like you know bad or good writing really i'm just having a good time with it so i'm gonna go edit the vlog going up tomorrow because it's monday right now and then i'm going to walk and read this and check in with y'all later but for now I must go. Good morning, y'all. Don't don't look at the fact that I haven't made my bed. Uh, so, hi. Um, I have a lot of editing to do today, so that's going to be super fun. And, you know, we'll definitely see the B-roll. But I do need to make a coffee first, obviously. And it's a perfect time to introduce today's sponsor, which is May Street House. So, if y'all don't know, let me tell you guys, because I am very freaking excited about this. So, y'all know I love my coffee. I am trying to make more coffee at home. And the main thing I've been trying to do is find a milk frother because I really enjoy milk of the frothed variety. <laughs> and this brand was kind enough to send me their detachable milk frother, which I'm very, very excited to try. It's very cute. Um, we're going to unbox it and we're going to go make a coffee together with it. But I just want to tell you a little bit about it before we get into that, because once I make that coffee, it's done. Like I'm I'm gonna be on cloud nine and I won't be able to talk to y'all about it anymore. So this frother is actually the first frother in the world where you can adjust the temperature and the thickness of the milk foam to make different drinks that you wanna make. So think like cappuccino, latte, mocha, you know, all the things. So some of the really cool features that it's got are the adjustable temperature and froth thickness like I just mentioned which I do think is really cool that you have the ability to truly make a bunch of different drinks with just one device. They have a temp display and indicator light. It is 100% pure stainless steel pitcher and there is no coating on it. There is of course an overall heat protection and there's an ergonomic handle. Very very excited about the fact that I can adjust the frothiness of everything going on but the fact that it's dishwasher safe, that's gonna get me every time. That just, that's just such a freaking plus. Y'all know that I do use an espresso machine and I have the milk frother that came with it. And I'm not gonna lie, it's not my favorite thing in the world. It gets the job done, but I wanna see how this one compares. So I'm gonna take y'all, we're gonna go make a coffee and then we'll sit back down and I'll tell you about the, and then I'm gonna get into editing for the rest of my life ever and ever and ever and ever and ever, and ever. amen. We played hide and seek for hours, raised our shadows among the pines. So offshore, play fall and free, without a care in the world. I was one rich little girl, daydreamer, kidnap me, take me back all the way back. Okay, 
just making a quick pit stop in here before I get to editing to tell y'all that I don't even know what to say. Look at this. Do y'all see how much broth is on there? Oh my god. It is so good. Granted, I did put too much oat milk for how much um, coffee that I put in there. That's my bad. That foam, I am already picturing the like pumpkin cream cold foam I can make with that. I am in love. <laughs> I've been reborn. Um, this is beautiful. I've never had this. My Nespresso one that came with the machine, well, it was a separate thing that I had to buy extra. It was more expensive and did less than this one. And this one tastes better. It's clearly like frothed and is more affordable. What the heck? I want to make a vanilla version now because <laughs> I'm into this, but okay. So thank you once again to my street house for sponsoring today's video. And now I'm going to go with my coffee, get my laptop, go to the office and edit my little heart away. And, um, I will see you guys after that. Guess who has a headache? Bing, 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 bing. Winner. It's me. I kind of wish I had a chicken dinner. Okay. Hi. So, um, I just used all my all my strength for that little clip but yeah it's me it is I it is someone who is really not wanting to hold up this <laughs> camera at this angle but it's like the only angle that I look semi all right at um but first of all Alicia if you're watching she sent me this Taylor Swift cardigan could not cardigan on the mind though um crew neck and I'm obsessed with it it's gonna be worn probably all week but definitely on Friday because am I right so I am fully embracing the fantasy romance fantasy book thing I told y'all about I'm it just is what it is I'm done denying what I really want to read and I have no interest in spooky books right now like none at all I don't even know but I did find this really weird um with a couple of friends I read this weird like spooky smutty book called jack it's about a pumpkin demon and uh there's a second one that came out so i had this idea to read i because i just see all of these like 50 60 page like a halloween based smut books on amazon all the time so i had this idea to read a few of them like for funsies during reading sprints or something and then i was like oh i should just vlog it so I am, but I don't think I'm gonna, it's, I don't think that's gonna appear on this channel because that's gonna be a mess. <laughs> but I was just doing research for it. And then I decided to watch um, some YouTube videos. I have been just watching a lot of like old channels I really liked. The one I'm focusing on right now is Garrett Watts because he is coming out with a, another video today. He does spooky ghost videos and yes, Absolutely, I believe in all of that. Literally can't prove me wrong. I think it's true. Bippity boppity boo. So I, aside from that, am just like sitting here watching some. I'm going to put on an ambiance room actually right now though and read a little bit because his video, he's in California. So it's probably going to be in a little bit because it's 11 a.m. right now. So it's 9 a.m. there. He's probably not even seen the light of day. Hopefully he scheduled it. <laughs> and it'll go up like within an hour or two or something but i'm waiting for that i have reading sprints tonight on patreon i'm excited to do those because i do need to get some reading done i think they're going to be much chiller probably not as long ones because i'm just not feeling it i have i don't know if you can see i got the heating pack going like we're having a day i'm hoping that if i kind of chill out and don't pressure myself I can go on a walk because that's really what I wanted to do because I've been trying to go on one every day we'll have to see uh but anyways as far as reading goes what we're actually here for you're not here for my walk updates hello uh Savage Lands I am t almost 30% in our girl just got sister snatched literally like physically like yanked uh into a fey prison not fun <laughs> rut row except she's probably gonna meet like i don't know the freaking love of her life in the prison i don't know how i feel about that actually i was hoping for like a prince or something but princess can go to prison too so so uh yeah i'm gonna keep reading this but i'm also switching it on and off for uh this ya fantasy series this is the second book in the fallen kingdom series i've seen quite a few people talk about this lately and i always find that interesting because i felt like no one talked about it when i 
very first read it a few years ago because I feel like it was at the same time that Throne of Glass was still being published. So I think that more people were reading that because it was like a way more popular series. But if y'all like Game of Thrones and you like YA fantasy, I would highly recommend this. It really does read like a YA Game of Thrones. It's much more soap opera-y and dramatic, but I love that. And there is a grumpy, dark, broody prince called the Blood Prince in here. And um, it's in this, like, this, this to me is enemies to lovers. But it's, like, over four books kind of thing. But these books read so fast because there's, like, four different POVs. So you're always moving. And it's, it's literally never dull. I really, really like this series. Uh, basically, it's about these three kingdoms and just navigating how the Blood King wants to team up or does he actually want to like take over the entire continent? You can guess. And uh, it, it's basically like this war breaking out and these rebels trying to get revenge on that and free their land and all this stuff. Like it's really good. And then gods and goddesses come into play too. And there's magic, drama. It's good. I really like it. So I am currently reading the second one and I just read the prologue last night. And so I'm on chapter one, technically. I'm on Jonas's chapter. I don't like Jonas, but that's just me. It's cause I'm, I like Magnus and I won't defend that choice because I, I also like Almond Targaryen. And yes, I do mean to say Almond because I think that that is a better name. <laughs> And I just like it. But yeah, so that's what I'm reading. Those are the two books. Obviously in a fantasy mood as of right now. That could change at the drop of a hat. Who knows? I am going to read a spooky book on Friday because I'm going to do sprints with Brie. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go back to watching some YouTube, reading some books, drinking my water. I'm hoping that it'll help. Oh, <gasps> I'm not going to get up to show you because it's not that important. But when I go fill up my water again, I'll show you. But we got this huge filter for the fridge. Y'all who have mentioned that we use water bottles will be proud <laughs> that we got a filter for the fridge. So we are a water bottle house. I mean, unless it's like the Stanley Cup because I am like other girls. <laughs> Let me make that very clear. I am like other girls, like the micro Uggs, the Lululemon bag, the Stanley Cups. I am absolutely like other girls. I will always be like other girls. I, I love being like other girls. I do, I do. It's fun. I'm having a great time with it. So I got that because we fill up our cups because now my partner has, well, my partner got a hydro flask. So like, I mean, I love the filter. It tastes really nice. So I'll also link it because I feel like sometimes it's hard to find good filters. It's a little bit pricier than I thought, but I didn't want to buy one that went on our sink because our sink is a detachable, a detachable head and I didn't want to like switch that out because I like that it does that. Also, I, I just don't think it would look that cute in the middle of our kitchen island. Big old thing. But I could only find like not cute filters, which yes, that's superficial and like who cares it's a filter, but who cares? Me cares. I do. It's me. So this one looks good in the fridge. I'll show you. It's got a little spout so you push it down. I feel like I'm at the water cooler in the office. I've never worked in an office. But I'm assuming it's what it's like based on the show The Office. So anyways, I'm actually going to go now because this was for what? What have I even said? I don't know. But I'm going to keep reading this because I'm in the mood for some fae. But I definitely will also be picking this up as well because I'm also in the mood for some fantasy drama. And I feel like that's just what that book offers. So let's, let's, let's go. So we have progressed in the day because I've opened my windows now. <laughs> Although it's not helping the head. But um, I wanted to make a TikTok because there was a Draco talk sound that came up on my 40 page. And I really like it because it reminds me of just how I feel about books in general. And so I picked up because I like the aesthetic of this book. Like, you know, when you search Pinterest and you put like the book title and then aesthetic, I like it. Um, so I picked this one up to do that with. And now I want to read, read Akatar. It, <laughs> it's not what I need to be doing at all. In fact, I need to be like actually making the bed. I need to be, I don't know, vacuuming or being productive in any other way. But it's right here. And it's so, it's, it's, he's looking at me. Look at that eye. 
it's I don't know why I'm like this. I don't know. What if your sweetness could reach everyone? There'd be no wars. Maybe the birds will sing about your heart. Maybe the trees. Hi guys. Happy Tuesday. So I am here to tell ya that I started a project and I don't know if this video is ever gonna see the light of day, but I was inspired by, it's it's kind of ironic, uh, a bunch of TikToks I found of like replacing screen time with reading time. And I wanna do something similar. I know a lot of people will aim to read as many screen time hours they have. My screen time is at like nine hours and I don't think I can read for nine hours a day, but I, do want to challenge myself to get as close as possible to that. So for the next instant however many days, at least a week, I'm gonna be doing that every day. And I'm not gonna talk about the book specifically in that vlog, like I'll mention, oh, I'm reading this book I got from page zero to this, from this to this, and like that kind of thing. But I'm not going to go in depth about my thoughts and reviews. That's gonna stay in the weekly vlogs. And I'm just mentioning this here because if you're watching this weekly vlog, you probably watch them a lot. Maybe not. Maybe this is your first one. Hey, how you doing? But it is gonna be like kind of where the more in-depth reviews go and then also like the random lifestyle stuff because that's like already what we do over here. So, uh, I'm nervous. I'm just thinking about how much time I have to read. I have to go do the math for it right now. But I wanted to also mention here to see if y'all are interested in that because I want to do it. I want to do it anyways because I think that I need to uh, reallocate my time used. And also my mental health is always better when I'm off my phone more. So I have been off of Instagram a lot. I'm really not posting on there. I'm really not looking on there. I, I used to scroll through every story, but I haven't been doing that for a while. Um, so if you've noticed, that's why, because I was gonna try and do that. But even then it just switched from Instagram to TikTok. And so I just go on a different freaking app. I'm trying to combat it. And I'm going to embarrass myself to myself in my room by making myself read for nine hours a day. And I can't believe I'm going to admit this on the internet. Although I did look up screen time on TikTok and a lot of people have it like 12 to 13 hours. So I'm definitely not alone. And also I know it's not exactly nine hours because that includes YouTube, Peacock, and then Netflix, which I don't count TV towards it because that is screen time, but I'm mainly trying to like limit my social media time because that like movies, TV, that's fun and fine. That doesn't really affect my mental health, but it's like the social media aspect, if that makes sense. That's the video I'm doing this week. And we're going to start it off with reading Rebel Spring, which I am reading in this vlog with you guys. So you'll already know how I'm feeling about that. But I did get a little tiny bit further into Savage Lands and I'm liking it. I'm liking the writing style. I feel like we're finally getting somewhere. Did I just realize right now that I've already updated the vlog today and then I said hi to y'all like we haven't seen each other in weeks? Yeah. Am I gonna leave it in? Anyways, <laughs> um, sorry. It's kind of chaotic because I'm really excited to do this challenge, but also I'm a little nervous, so. Yeah. But anyways, I'm gonna go back to reading. I did watch Garrett's video just to mention to you guys. It was very spooky, very scary. If you like it, that kind of video, paranormal videos, I definitely do think it was actually scary and I would recommend watching uh, because it was, it was scary and I don't wanna be alone in being scared. <laughs> so you should go check it out. But for now, I'm going to put on an ambiance room in the bedroom and I'm gonna light a freaking candle because I'm also, this is, okay, I'm like, goofy but i am specifically lighting like um clean scented candles because i have pavlov dog myself <laughs> into thinking that clean scented candles equals productivity and joy <laughs> and like feeling like i've accomplished things which i already talked about in the intro to that other video i've mentioned to y'all productivity doesn't have to always be like doing something like self-care is productive you know but i always light clean scented like linen candles or lemon or very spring smelling candles after i've cleaned the house i've done the dishes or i'm doing a mental health thing or a self-care thing that's what i like in the bath or it's what i like because to me cleaning 
and reading our self-care main like if i'm mood reading and that's what i'm gonna be doing forever because i'm i'm over trying to set a tbr for myself like that a joke <laughs> you want to hear a joke knock knock who's there the tbr what is she doing here god i hope i'm better at this challenge than i am at jokes but anyways uh i'm gonna go light a clean scented candle all that to say what candle scent i'm gonna light and we're gonna see if i can trick my brain my little synapses to start snapping towards reading but i don't know how much i'll get done because i do have a bit of a headache i had to delay sprints to tomorrow so i think the lack of screens will help but i don't know how much i'll get read because that whole eye focusing up close i can do far away screens when i have a headache i just can't do like my phone screen oh darn i might have to watch netflix i might have to catch up on real housewives actually wait i just got recommended i think married to medicine listen Real life Grey's Anatomy, where it's probably actually medically accurate? Sign me up, because then I won't pick apart the show while I'm trying to be believing things. Uh, but anyways, I have my candle right here. I'll show it to you now. It's Garden Night Vanilla and Citrus. That's the word I was looking for. Citrus is the scent that I just equate to like clean, ready to do things, productive. I don't know. I don't know. But we're going to go do it now, so... Au revoir. Hello. Happy Real Housewives of Beverly Hills reunion day, aka Wednesday. <laughs> so I uh, just finished Savage Lands and mm, I'm going to give it three stars. Like it wasn't groundbreaking, but it was very engaging and very fast paced and I'm interested in where it's going. So I did buy the second book already. Right now, I really want a salad wrap. So I think I'm going to go get that because also... My headphones broke, so I had to order some new ones. So I gotta go to Target and pick those up because I placed a uh, to-go order thing. So I'm gonna go pick those up, grab a salad, and then come back and hang out and read. So I'm doing that um, challenge thing that I told you about, the screen time one. And I mean, it's going well. I've already read an hour and a half of the nine hours I'm supposed to read today. And it's definitely going to take me into late to the night to read. But I have a reading sprints tonight. So it'll be good because that's at least like three hours again. I just have to, you know, casually read for five more hours until then. But honestly, I'm kind of really in the mood to read. So I'm not upset about it. I just don't know what I want to read. So I was mentioning The Kiss Curse. I mentioned These Dazzling Heights. But I also kind of want to read Love in Other Words. Because I want to read a romance, but I think I want to read a, like a traditionally published romance. Because the thing is, I love KU because there's way more drama in those romances. And if I had to choose, like if I had to read either KU or traditionally published books for the rest of my life, like when it comes to romance, I probably choose KU every time because I just like what the tropes are in there and how they're handled more. But I'm in the mood for like a lighter, less intense read and KU is not really the girl for that. So I think I'm gonna pick up one of those three. We'll see which one I get into. I think I might actually, cause Love and Other Words is on one of the floating shelves right here and the other two are in my office. So I think I'm gonna grab all three and I'm gonna read a chapter of each and see what I'm feeling. I've already read some of the Kiss Curse, so I already know about that. Maybe if I want to read more. But about Savage Lands more, this is a dystopian book, but it's like, it's not your typical dystopian. It's dystopian because the, basically the world got ripped open that is between, like the veil between Fae and humans got ripped open and shattered or whatever and so now magic has flooded in the humans world and it affected them so basically the world is split into fey versus human and then there is also like this other part which is the savage lands where it's people who are half fey half human and people who kind of like defected from either side, I guess, are, and it's a lawless place. It's interesting because it's not your stereotypical dystopian. It's not, like there's definitely conspiracies. Like I can tell there's a cover up going on. There's something weird. The main character is involved in something more than we realize and we just don't know what it is yet. I definitely think that I'll probably pick up the next book this month, if not this week. I'm just not sure if I want to do it right this second. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go find a book. I think I'm gonna let myself watch a YouTube video though while I eat lunch and then I'm gonna continue reading. And I'll check in mm, probably when I decide what I'm even gonna read, to be honest with you.
Hello, I'm back again because I have chosen my read. So let me tell you, I've started Love and Other Words by Miss Christina Lauren and I am 48 pages into it and I am absolutely loving this. The fact, so this is about a girl and a guy. They were friends as children and then for whatever reason they stopped talking for 10 years and now they see each other again in a cafe and she's about to get married but I think he's gonna say nay nay. Call me Dr. Seuss because I am just rhyming. But uh, this is really cute. I like that it's doing the back and forth timelines. I really love a dual timeline because if I don't get a dual POV, a dual timeline will do because it speeds things up and it keeps it interesting and it informs us of, of like things that happened in the past that make the present make sense. How many times can I move the book? <laughs> probably more. But I, uh, I'm enjoying this. So this is exactly what I needed. I needed a traditionally published, kind of almost not even a full romance, like almost a chick lit book. So that's what I'm reading right now. And it's like 400 pages. So this is what I'm going to read for the rest of the day, hopefully finish it. Then the next sci-fi book I'm going to pick up is These Dazzling Heights. The next romance I will pick up is The Kiss Curse. And then the next fantasy I'll pick up is Rebel Spring. So these are the plans for after I finish this book. It just depends on what genre I want after this one, but it is going to be one of these three. The only thing that may get picked up first is Twisted Games. I don't think so because I'm not really in the mood for, like I said, kind of the KU romances are very dramatic. And listen, it's not often that I will pick a not dramatic romance over a dramatic romance. Yes, I said those in order boom um but it is it is in this moment because i just need like kind of a relaxing read for some reason my anxiety is spiking i'm trying to think of like what made that happen but i i can't really think of anything although i didn't really have a lot of protein this morning and honestly for some reason that affects it if i have espresso but no protein my body's like <laughs> you're gonna regret it so uh, i'm regretting it but i wanted to show you what i got at target because i am on a mission to organize our bathroom i've decided to organize little spots in the house the pinchers uh as i go and i'm trying to focus on one spot at a time to not get overwhelmed that's what the that's what the people say the articles say about burning yourself out about organizing things Whatever, I'm sure there's science to that. But I bought this Lazy Susan thing to put my makeup brushes here and then put some of my skincare, things like that, up there and then toothpaste down here too because I just, I want it all to be in its little like section. And if it's in a section, I'll be happy about it. So yeah, this is from Target. I'll link it. It's in the Bright Room collection. I really like their Bright Room collection because it is very nice cheaper because like it looks like container store but you're paying like target which i think container store is overpriced and honestly not that good so yeah i'll link that and then i you know had to buy new headphones so i have to allocate the money to that but also um i saw girls on tiktok buying this so i bought it <laughs> i'm so easily influenced but they were on sale three for like whatever dollars. So I was like, what if I really like it? And oh man, I love restock TikTok. Ugh. It's so good. I want to film my own. I bought a new bag. So maybe when that bag gets here, I think it gets here next week. Maybe I'll film a TikTok like stocking my work bag, which is literally just like me putting my iPad, my journal, my Kindle, a book or two or six, and my laptop for probably the going out I'm not going to be doing. But these I'm kind of into like, I just like the way that they look. First of all, I am indeed a sucker for packaging, but it is a power mist, whatever that means. But um, it's a hydrating hand sanitizer. And I have a thing about germs, mental illness babes, truly. It's, <laughs> it's a ride. Not a ride I signed up for, but a, a ride I am on nonetheless. So, um, it's more mental because I know for a fact that Germex and germ stuff does not clean as well as soap does, but I like to do both, <laughs> even at home. Yeah, I know. So anyways, let's try it out. Okay, anticlimactic. Come on, girl. How much do I do? Ugh. Oh, you know what it smells like? All my problems being solved. <laughs> I loved it. No, I definitely did not need this, but I'm not going to lie to you. I really like it. 
Also, it reminds me of being a kid because I'm in the South, y'all. So my childhood was made up of spraying lots of mosquitoes around me because I'm also allergic to mosquitoes. I know, it's really cute. Um, especially they blow up like the size of baseballs. That Did that get uncute for you too? Me too. Okay. Anyways, I'm gonna go back to walking on the treadmill because... Oh my god, I literally said what time is it and then the watch showed it. I don't know if I like that, but at least it listens to me. Uh, it's 4.12, so I have about 30 more minutes. I'm just gonna uh, walkie walk on the treadmill and then get on sprints and then... That's kind of it. I think I probably won't update too much more tonight about this book unless like something really cute happens. The other thing about these kind of romances, the not dramatic romances, there's really nothing to update you on. Because it's not like I'm coming in here with a mafia romance update and being like, girl, he killed everyone. Because I love those updates. I think that they're really fun. But in here, it's just like, they're setting healthy boundaries. And like, we, I love that. I do love that. I do indeed love that. Is it an update? I don't know. I don't think so. I think it's just like an assumption because we should all be doing it. <laughs> uh, but anyways, I will probably check in with you tomorrow before we go see the movie because we do have Black Adam tickets and I am, yes, excited. Because if it's a superhero movie, it's me in the seat, no matter what. To be quite honest, because we have that AMC Stubbs thing, if it's a movie, it's us in the seat because I love popcorn so much. And Sour Patch Kids. Only watermelon though. Not those kids, not those kids. I don't like kids, I don't like Sour Patch kids. You know what I'm saying? Hello, let me take this out so I can hear you. Wait, what? We're not actually on FaceTime. <laughs> I'm losing my mind. Okay, anyways, let's talk about it because, wait, should I tell you what we're talking about? Probably. Let me stop talking in half sentences. How about, I don't know. Anyways, let's hope the camera stays up. So I finished last night, Love and Other Words. I gave it three stars because some of the stuff, like the quotes, um, from the dad because her mom passed away so the quotes of her dad raising her and then just like i don't know honestly the thing i liked the most about this book was the relationship between the dad and the daughter uh it was really sweet and sad the actual couple i was in it for the drama i liked the current timeline and i liked how that played out but the past one was like awkward and i know it's supposed to be awkward and weird because they're teenagers and they're navigating like growing up but i don't want to read about that you know what i mean like i just want them to like be adults and her to be a pediatric doctor and him to be whatever he was i don't know what his other personality trait was aside from being in love with her and liking words but i just wanted more from this book in specific areas and less in others. So I wanted more of the now timeline. I think there was too much flashbacks. I think there needs to be some to build it up because it's friends to lovers, but I think there were too many. And then the huge, because in this book they haven't talked for 11 years, and I'm thinking miscommunication or something bad. And at first when it got revealed, I was like, okay, so it was miscommunication. Something else actually happened. No, no. My least favorite trope in books ever happened. Ever happened. I hate it. I won't say what it is because it. I guess it could be a spoiler. I don't know. It is the one that I literally would be like, well, that's a shame. Put her there, partner. Just kidding. And then I'd leave, you know? Um, I wouldn't stick around at all. But to be honest, would I stick around in like Magnolia Parks? And here's the thing that if you've read Magnolia Parks, it's the same trope. But tell me why I could excuse it in Magnolia Parks. I was like, oh my god, but like things happen. But in this one, I'm like, oh, nay, nay. That's rude. I don't know why. I, it's toxic, but it's fine to me. So finish this one. Second book of the week down. It's Thursday. So I need to update where I'm at in this book because I read another chapter. I did. I did. I put another chapter down. So I got to 77 in Twisted Games. This is the Bodyguard Princess Romance. And yes, right now I am currently reading Rebel Spring, which is the fantasy one that I was liking. I'm literally reading so many books. I'm using books as bookmarks in my other book. It's fine. Everyone does that right? I also went on a book buying spree yesterday because I I sold a bunch of books on Pango Books, which I'm thinking about opening up the Pango Book store again. Hello, Ginger. Um, I just feel bad about doing it because I can only ship on certain days, but I'll just put that in my bio. But I did buy books. I want to tell you what I bought. So I have been looking for this copy of The Deal 
for forever. I want to get the whole series because I've already read it and I liked it a lot. Chinjar. And then I also bought the entire Paper Princess series because I've read, I think, the first three. To be honest, I think I read the other two as well, but I don't remember anything about them. But I for sure read the first three when I first started Bookstagram, so like a while ago. And I just wanted to have them because like, you know, memes, things like that. And then I also grabbed because someone else was selling The Chase and The Risk. So I bought those two because I've already read The Chase and I liked it. And I want to read The Risk and I've been really liking reading physical books. So that's what I'm doing. Sorry, Ginger's trying to come up and there's just like not room for her and she's not going to like that answer. So I can't give it to her. Um, but yeah, that's ma'am. This is a Wendy's. Uh, anyways, yes, I am sorry. This is too much. But I, I bought those books yesterday. But I also have some books that I bought because I've been really anxious lately. And what I do is I buy books when I'm anxious. It's just what it is. It's who I am. So I was thinking of saving up all my book packages. And then instead of just doing a book haul, doing a book unboxing. If you would like that, let me know. Because I think that'd be fun. And it wouldn't be like a super, super big amount of books or anything. But it would just be, you know, all the books that I've bought like this month or something. Actually, yeah, I think this month. Maybe this month in November we could put it together. Because I'm trying to not buy any in November. Save for like a new release, which I'm thinking Astrid Park doesn't fall is the one I want. But other than that, I'm trying not to buy too many because I want to save, obviously, for December. Because that's when the holidays are here. But... Anyways, let me know if you'd be interested in like an unboxing video instead of just a book haul where I've already unboxed everything. Ma'am, can we... Do y'all see? A diva. I don't know who raised her. I don't know where she gets this attitude. But it is there and it is prominent. But anyways, I'm gonna get back to reading. I just wanted to update you that I did finish <laughs> another book and I am on my way to help maybe finish these two as well. What do you think? What do you think? She's like, yeah, I think you should open up that lap. So I'm gonna do that. Oh my God. Will she ever change an angle? I don't know. Oh, I look like the parents in cartoons. Like call me London Tipton's dad. <laughs> Stupid. Okay, <laughs> hi guys. So um, the hair has gone up George Washington style. That means it's been a day. But I read this for... The timer just ended. I planted four trees. What do you think about that? How many trees did you plant today? <laughs> uh, two hours and 25 minutes is all I've focused today. Yeah, 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 yeah. If you'll recall, this was focused for six hours. Um, I guess I like to not fulfill um, my dreams. But I am, what am I on? I'm on page 123 of this one. And y'all, oh, I forgot how much I love this series. Literally every book at the end of this series. So there's six or seven, I think six. And every single one ends with a scene, like a montage scene from each person's point of view, that is the exact same vibes, the exact same vibage <laughs> of the Gossip Girl Thanksgiving episode. You, you already know what I'm talking about. It is so good. That doesn't matter in this video at all because we're literally just talking about how much I'm reading, not what I'm reading. But I just need to promote. I need to promote because I really want to reread all of these so that I can finish the series off because I can't remember if I even read the fifth one. I definitely haven't read the latest one, but the, it's a completed series now. So if you're interested, I'm just saying, I'm just saying it's quite dramatic. There's lots of points of view. It's very fun. And I would just highly recommend, sorry, I, there's someone playing up outside of our house and I did order a very cute Amazon um, lounge set because I'm so easily influenced, but I ordered that last week because you know what I'm doing this week? I'm becoming a new person because I'm not on TikTok. I mean, I am when my friends send me a TikTok, but other than that, TikTok and I were like this. <laughs> okay. Uh, that's embarrassing. I'm gonna go. Hello, happy midnight day. Um, okay, so we grabbed coffee. 
I got nails. I don't know if you can see them. I just did really plain this time because I didn't feel like doing anything too much. I might do some Halloween ones next week, but I don't know. There we go. Let there be light. Okay, so you saw I got a package. I'm very excited about this because I am so not in a spooky book mood. I am in a romance and a fantasy romance mood. <gasps> Wait, there's two books in here. Oh, uh, very nice. Thank you, Amazon. Um, so, technically, I'm still going to save that package because I'm going to do this um, in the Amazon book unboxing video that I'm going to do. But I did order Throttled by Lauren Asher. This is the first book in the Dirty Air series, which is a F1 racing KU series. And I really liked it a lot. This one is the only one that I've read so far. And like I said, I really, really enjoyed it. So I wanted to get it to add it to my shelves over there. And it's red, which is good because my romance shelves are currently in a rainbow. But I don't know if they'll stay that way because I'm starting to get so many. I don't know. And then I got Anna Huang's newest book, which is King of Wrath. And I love this cover and I love the spine who it's also red, which I'm just, I'm so excited. This is an arranged marriage kind of thing. This is the first book in her new series too. So I'm currently reading Twisted Games. Also want to read this. And I may read this after I pit, or I finish Twisted Games because I'm hoping to finish that today, but we'll see, we'll see. I epically failed at my hours that I needed to read yesterday. So I'm gonna try to make up for that today and read just literally as much as humanly possible. But, um, anxiety will do that to you. I'll tell you what. Sometimes the Lord will lead you to it, but he is like, girl, you gotta bring yourself through it. And I, uh, I did, but it took the entire time that I was supposed to be reading. Other than that, Black Adam yesterday was fun, but was it good? I don't know. My thing is, I just love every superhero movie, so I don't think I'm a good judge of that because I just want superheroes and I want a villain and I want action and I got all of that. The jokes at first were not very funny. They are very awkward. The Rock was very funny in it. I was a little worried because he's supposed to be so serious, like if it would be funny, but he was the funniest. Him and the kid were like so funny. I really liked him. Yeah, I would definitely, if you're like, if you're into comic book superhero movies, I would say go see it because why not? But I also just love the movies. I'll literally go see just about anything pretty much at this point, but I am going to go because I need to do all of that reading, like I said. We're just gonna see how that goes. So, um, keep me right here, please, in your thoughts and prayer. Hi guys, happy Saturday. So, the coffee's back there. Um, I finished a book last night so we should go over it. Uh, and I got halfway, almost over halfway through another book. So let's discuss, oh, oh, oh. I finished Rebel Spring late last night. I was trying to fall asleep. I could not fall asleep as always happens to me. And then I didn't sleep much. So we're going to drink a lot of coffee and we're going to read a lot of books and sit on the heating pad because dear Lord, my back. Listen, this doesn't feel old, but my bones do. And then I also read up to, I think page 251, chapter 15 of The Weight of Blood. And this one is about a girl who, her father has forced her to basically live by the fact that she's white, but she actually had a um, mother who was black. And so like he forced her to like straighten her hair and basically compromise like all the things and just, really play into all of the like white Eurocentric ideals of beauty for her whole life. Then something happens at school where like her hair um, shows its natural form, I guess you could say. That's how it was described in here. And so people know, and then it becomes like this whole thing. It is set in 2014, so it goes viral online for the school being racist because a video comes out. And so they're trying to basically reset their image by holding a prom that is all for like everyone. So there was a segregated prom. I was like, I'm sorry, you said 2014. Okay. Okay. But every character in here, I, I, I like the main character and I like Kenny. Everyone else, I'm like, 
And I heard from someone that this is a Carrie retelling. Don't know, didn't read Carrie, didn't watch Carrie, don't know Carrie, but I really like this. But definitely check Storygraph for the content warnings because it is strong. And Jules, I don't like it. I don't like her one bit. I, I, I know karma is had, but it's not coming fast enough. <laughs> Like, I'm having to read too much about her. So, anyways, yeah. I am having a time of it, let's say. So, this weekend is going to be spent on reading, for sure. Uh, tomorrow, I am going up with my partner to my dad's place uh, for dinner for my brother's birthday. So, we'll do that. Also, I wanted to show you. I got these pumpkin pants. Aren't they so cute? I also got this other pair that is a golden retriever. It kind of looks like Jake, but he doesn't have long hair. Um, and he's a shepherd, so it's not like jake but they're both blonde so to me they're the same and he has a little witch hat and like a pumpkin and it's a little halloween thing it's cute and i love it these are from j crew that's where i got them they had a salem pajama pants and i was like okay i'm kind of obsessed with them i've been really thinking about buying a bunch of pajama pants like this and actually wearing those to bed instead of wearing yoga pants and all of that so that my athleisure clothes are for specific things. I don't know if y'all are like this, but in my brain, I need things to be for specific things, specific events. And so these pajama pants are for pajamaing and sleeping. And then athletic clothes are for being athletic, which is why I rarely wear them. Athleisure is for leisure and to look like you're athletic. I do partake in that. Um, also, I got my Goldsboro book, which is Silver Under Nightfall this month by Rin Shapeko and um, I think this is about vampires if I'm not mistaken and I am not gonna be um, vlogging for the last week of November I've just decided um, just to, like kind of take a break before the festivities of vlogmas startup and I was which I don't know how do y'all feel about vlogmas let me know I don't know I don't want to post every day and it'd be too much but maybe every other day maybe three times a month Three times a month, what? That's me now, <laughs> sorry. Three times a week. I have a few vampire books that I want to read that week. I wanna read, well, I wanna read Babel, Empire of the Vampire. I was thinking about Jade City and I'm thinking about that too because I wanna do this experiment that I've been doing, the trade your screen time for reading time experiment, but I wanted to do it in just a, a, just a week for me that I'm reading. I'm not even vlogging it because I feel like without worrying about vlogging it and talking about it and editing, I would read even more. So maybe I'll come back with like a wrap up video about the all the books that I read. But yeah, that's it for today. I'm gonna go get my computer because I, I need to edit because <laughs> I do need to edit tomorrow's video. I have done the thumbnail, I've done the rough cuts, but I need to actually like watch it through and add the musical elements. So I'm gonna go do that, put it up for early access and then it's reading for me. Okay, hi guys. So, um, how you doing? It's been a moment since I talked to you. Actually, has it even been? Did I talk to you yesterday? I don't know. How are you though? Are you doing well? There's a hair on you. Let me just, a little ASMR. I'm just, I won't ever do that again. I can guarantee it. So let me pull up. I'm not trying to flip you off. I'm sorry. But it is the finger that I use when I've got my claws on. So let me see. Okay. We all know that I think Erin from Booked and Busy is the recommendation queen. I have been recommended many a book by her and nary a book has been bad um, that I've read from her. I could chalk that up to me being incredibly easy to please, but why do that when it's just the truth that it, they're all good? They're all good. So I've downloaded a lot of fantasy romance, but I did order Daughter of No Worlds, the second and third book, and then her vampire series, the physical copies of those books, because I want to read them physically, because I want to write in them. And they're beautiful. So I'll show them. I have decided, based on some reactions from Instagram posts I did, that I am going to do like an unboxing video that is an unboxing in a haul versus just like showing a bunch of books, because I personally like when it's an unboxing because the person filming doesn't know what book is in each box usually so it's kind of like a surprise it's almost like I don't know I hate opening presents but I love watching people open presents but I love opening books because I love presents from myself because I know that I did good <laughs> well good for me not for my wallet but anyways so I did get King of Wrath by Anna Huang and I'm trying very hard not to pick it up because I did finish Twisted Games yesterday uh, but today 
I, well, last night I started Blood Mercy, which is this one. It is a vampire fantasy romance. In the first book, on my Kindle at least, it's now saying something different, but I'm gonna pretend like it doesn't because I liked the first option. <laughs> It's 666 pages long, and I thought that was so funny. <laughs> I don't know why. So I downloaded that. I started it. I only made like a tiny down of 40 pages or something like that in it. So I'm still reading that, obviously. But what I know so far is we have a kingdom who's all humans, and then this kind of vampire race who they're trying to have an allegiance with again. From the 40 pages I've read, I don't know if the humans realize that these other people are vampires or not, because they're acting weird about seeing if the humans realize it's the same people coming to make a amends with them. So, I don't know. All I know is that we don't like the king. He seems to be awful. Everyone's afraid of him, our main character included, but I think it's her dad. I don't really know what the plot is. I just think that there's gonna be like political drama, royalty, vampires, hello. And I'm excited about that. I'm very excited about that. So that's the one that I'm currently reading, but I need to like get on it and read it because as soon as Daughter of No Worlds 2 and 3 come in and that other vampire one by the same author, as soon as they're here, I'm gonna wanna start those. So I gotta, I gotta get my life together. But right now it's two o'clock and uh, we're leaving in about an hour and a half, two hours to head up to my dad's, like I mentioned, and eat dinner, hang out. So I need, I just finished getting this ready, but I need to get ready, um, AKA socks and shoes and what book I'm gonna bring. Because you know, even if I'm not going to read, if there's zero chance of me reading, the Kindle is coming with me. Also, I was a little delirious last night but I came up with a name for my Kindle and I think it's so funny, but I'm gonna call it Kindle Jenner. <laughs> and like, it's still spelled this, like Kindle Jenner. That's, uh, that's what I'm gonna call it. KJ, like that, pfft. I don't know. I don't know why I thought that was so funny, but the fact that I thought it was so funny is kind of what's funny to me now. So I think that I'm going to go with that. So with respect, if you would all please refer to my Kindle going forward as Miss Kindle Jenner, I would really appreciate that. It would mean a lot to the family. Um, that sounds like a mob. <laughs> okay, anyways, I'm going to go and do anything other than talk about naming inanimate objects. Okay, bye guys. Y'all, I am having a moment. Oh dear. So editing me is gonna absolutely hate this because I literally already had to delay this video till Thursday. Hi, sorry, it's Tuesday today. But I can't stop thinking about this book and I'm just reading it and I just wanna scream about it. So that's what we're gonna do <laughs> together. Cause you don't have a choice, you're already here. Oh, you could click out, but don't. It's weekend ween week. So it starts on the 28th. So I don't have time really to film too much of a weekly vlog. So I was like, I'll just take it off because I'm gonna at least post two weekend ween videos, if not daily vlog. This should go up, since it's going up on Thursday, y'all can let me know if you'd be more inclined to watch two 25 minute vlogs or four 10 minute vlogs. Which one is your poison of choice? But anyways, my poison of choice is freaking blood mercy because a certain war criminal on House of Dragons the other day did a lot of stuff. A lot of people are mad. Here's the thing. A TV show has never been able to keep my attention. <laughs> Ever. Except for like murder mysteries. I do love those. I'm not really a TV person. I'm a marathoning TV person sometimes, but really I only like reality TV. I know it's my only flaw. And then YouTube, which is kind of like reality TV, but edited. So is it even reality? I don't know. I don't know, man. I, I just don't care about it anymore. Sorry, but I love the edits because there's two, there's two little blondies in there that I in love with. But other than that, it's got nothing for me. Sorry. Sorry. I know people love it, but listen, I gotta tell you, I never watched Game of Thrones either. I think it's just not meant for me. It's just not meant for me. But I love reading it. 
do you guys have any of that where you don't love the genre in any other medium, but you'll read it? Because I love a good thriller movie and I love the thriller genre, but if I had to read epic fantasy or watch it, I'm gonna always pick to read it. I just like reading epic fantasy because I can put a score to the music I have on going on my laptop right now and some ambiance, you know, you know? But I'm recording this before I go to the bedroom because that's where the record player is and my Taylor vinyl is here. So we're gonna listen to it together. But the book I'm talking about is Blood Mercy and I have mercy. I am obsessed with this book. I think I'm just shy of 200 pages. I'm on page 163, which is a little bit under 30% through the book. And this is like a 600, closer to 700 page book. And y'all, I am just, I can't. I, I literally cannot even right now. I am so obsessed. It actually might be an unhealthy thing for me, but it's fine. I love being unhealthy. <laughs> it's literally my life. This, let's poorly describe a book together, okay? Okay. If you like this book, aka Aaron and Nina, y'all the the two that I know from Instagram that have read this and like this. Don't listen, plug your ears, no 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 do that. This girl, a human, and she is the bastard of the king. Okay, there's that right there. Bada bing, bada boom. Then you have him. He's a little VMP. And the vampires in here are very cool. Like, they're very, like, energetic, vampire-esque, and they're very peaceful and calm, which, considering who I'm picturing from Game of Thrones as the vampire, not really the same energy as in the show, but love it out of character moment. <laughs> Why not? So he is the like ambassador in training for the vampires who are coming over to her kingdom to basically like negotiate peace relations with uh, whatever politics. I love it in books, but could I explain to you what's going on? No, because what I love in politics is like when they're all at the ball or they're all at like the dinner or whatever after the political parties are like meeting and I don't know, they look at each other and they're like, and then he's like, you know, <laughs> this book for no reason has me like giggling. <laughs> They're literally just talking to each other. They're not even flirting. And I'm just like, oh my God. So like, what are your wedding colors going to be? <laughs> I'm ridiculous. But they meet one night in the forest by accident when she's out walking her dog, which I'm like, oh my God, I love a self insert. And then he is out feeding on a deer. I love Edward Cullen. <laughs> So that's basically what this book is and now they're like, nah, 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 whatever. I don't really know where else it's going. I don't know what's gonna happen. To be quite honest, I'm hoping for like a war <laughs> because drama. But these books are, there's six of them. The sixth one comes out today or tomorrow, I think. And good God almighty, Lord above and all around us. This is long. So this is like 700. Every other book, I don't think any of them drop below 400 pages. Majority of them are five to 600. And some of them were so long they had to be cut in two parts, which to me, what I say is don't, don't cut them in two parts. Put them together. Don't be shy. A thousand, 1200 pages. That's not it. Girl. Girl, come on, we could do that. So anyways, that's what I'm gonna be reading. I am gonna go put on Midnight's because I love myself. And the greatest part is first record, side A, whatever, is are my favorite songs from the album. So I might not even have to get up that much other than to just move the needle right back to the beginning. Yeah, that's, that's the little plan there. I was watching some Emily D. Baker. I need to take a break because the case is literally up a wall. So I'm gonna do this instead and then also i guess i'll mention this although she's like a backseat book now sorry love you girl but not today king of wrath i did decide to pick this one up and it's cute i'm liking it it is you know this girl is the heiress to a dynasty he is this huge ceo fortune 500 billionaire would hate him in real life you know that kind of thing man and there's an arranged marriage because there's blackmail involved and so yeah, that's what I'm reading as well. That's, I'm on chapter eight, page 61. And then on here, like I said, I'm about 30% through. So like, that's really not that much for this book. But honestly, I care way more about this one right now. Here's the problem. I have Daughter of No Worlds book two and three and that author's vampire book coming in the mail like now. It's supposed to be here tomorrow. I'm like, well, I need to finish this so I can continue on with that series. But now I'm like, who is that series? I need to read all of these. And then I messaged Erin and she said she read them all in a week. Do I have to participate a week in a week? I'm just kidding. <laughs> but, uh, oh, these 
technically vampires are monsters. And he's on the cover of every book. No one wants to watch me read that. But anyways, anywho, that's the update for today. Honestly, I'll probably not update again. So let's just close her out here on this day. The emoji of the day is going to be a vampire. There is a vampire emoji. And because I am back in my vampire phase of life, which honestly... When I told my mom it wasn't a phase on many occasions, apparently I wasn't wrong. It was dormant and now it's back is really what it is. Vampire emoji is the emoji of the day. Let me know what you're reading. Also, definitely let me know. Um, the two things that I remember asking is, do we want individual Akatar reading vlogs? Because I kind of want to do that. What I don't know is how I was thinking about doing it is filming myself reading Akatar, reactions out of context, no spoilers, and then having like a card up that says, okay, now we're entering spoiler territory. And then from the beginning of the book to the end, it'll be all my spoiler thoughts. So it's like a two part vlog in one vlog. Okay. There's that. Or because I feel like everyone and their mom has read it, I could just put out a vlog of it and be like, it is what it is spoilers hello uh for each of the books mainly because i want to reread them because i am kind of obsessed with book talk again i don't know what happened it's i don't know what happened and the other question was a good one i don't remember <laughs> oh summer ween vlog two or four two or four no hard feelings because honestly i do not watch everyone's daily vlogs the day that they go up mainly because i'm daily vlogging but also a vlog every day is a lot although when i tell you vlogmas i am just gobbledy gobble like i'm eating it all up so any of the people that i watch if you happen to watch this first of all hello what are you doing second of all vlogmas is what you're doing there you go but yeah let me know about weekend mean vlogs how we're feeling how many we're wanting realistically i was thinking about doing one that uploads on sunday and one that uploads on tuesday but that's just kind of where i'm at and then vampire emoji and that's it we've concluded our meeting happy to have you here anyways i'm gonna go now i'm gonna listen to my vinyl and probably read everything i have right now these are the two these are the ones but i'm gonna try to take myself away from my computer so that i don't keep watching emily and i don't go on tiktok so that's that but anyways thank you for watching love you the most hope you're having a wonderful morning afternoon night wherever you are i will catch you in the comments down below and i'm gonna next uh, video bye